Hey, this is Andrew Brown from Exam Pro, and I'm on the AWS Certified Cloud Practitioner page because what I want to show you here is the exam guide. If you're wondering how to book your exam, you go to Schedule Exam there, and that's the way you can do it. But if you scroll on down, there's this Download Exam Guide, and this will download a PDF that will tell you everything about the exam. And so just make note of the course code. This is the CLF C01. Uh, because if this exam has a major, major change, they'll call it the CO2, okay? And then you'll know that this exam uh, might not fit for the new, uh, ex uh, the new exam guide, okay? So if we scroll on down, there is a basic introduction. They'll say you have to have six months, which is totally not true. You can get in the cloud with no experience uh, and uh, be passing this exam within two to three weeks. So you can just kind of ignore that. So it'll just state that there's multiple choice, multiple response, or also known as multiple answer. There are 50 questions of the exam with 15 unscored questions. So you'll get 65 questions in total. Uh, it's scored between 100 to 1,000. The passing grade is 700. It explains about scaled scoring there. Then it goes on to the course or content outline where we have the four domains. And it has a big breakdown of all the things that could appear on the exam. And the thing about this is, is that, um, you know, there's only 65 questions, but there, if you break down all these points, there's like three times more information than could possibly show up on the exam. So just understand that you are going to be studying a lot of information, but only one third of it's going to show up on your exam. So what I did is I went through every single one of these things and I made sure that we are covering them. Some stuff I just never saw on the exam and also other people I never saw were design principles. Um, I mean, they are generally covered in the well-architected framework but it's unusual because some of the things in here, I just feel they aren't actually on the exam and they just kind of cram this exam guide together. But I was very thorough to make sure to add everything here. Um, so for security and compliance, it's just knowing a collection of um, AWS security services and some security concepts for technology. This is our largest section. You need to know so much stuff, uh, but we spent a lot of time in the course just covering technology. Then you have your billing and pricing and you could also say support. Um, and so that covers a lot of interesting thing, a lot of stuff around EC2 pricing. Um, and then they just have a big list of stuff. So this is a bit, a bunch of uh, uh, random uh, technologies and concepts that might be covered. And then they talk about services. And so again, we cover basically everything just in case for you. Uh, but yeah, there you go.